quick to the race. So again, Black, he can't do much. No mana, the free hit is not there. Dian makes it away with a slash and dice combo. Can slurry it off. Okay, it's gonna be on Taras, the victim of a gank here. But gets the first blood with all the unleashed power spear. Trying to disrupt things in. Whoa, look at the damage! Oh my lord, what was that? A triple kill! This is a quad drop! Hello is very low! Kaya yung pagbabalik mga summoners dito sa Garena Law Collegiate League 2017 Summer Term Powered by Lenovo Challenge What you know, itong magiging huling laro natin para sa araw na to Grabe, yeah. dami natin games yung... But still, <laughs> before That's we good. get into that, syempre mga kapalit Lala kung yung, kami ang inyong casters for today Ako si Arctic Atlas Service Fam With me is Kaizen yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. But <laughs> we're gonna move already in the drafting phase. They players want to get this over with. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a long day, especially yeah. for Ordinetta City National High School. Like we've been talking about earlier before going live. Na grabe, isip mo kung yano ng katagal sila sa shop. Mm -hmm. You know, just waiting yeah. to play their games. Pero grabe ka isin. Um, for, them. for this game though, yep. sobrang laki ng bearing for both teams. Kasi mm -hmm. Both uh, UC and HS, chakay tong Bulsu, they have a standing of 3 3 for our blue side team. Tapos 2 3 naman para sa Bulsu. So if Bulacan State University wins this game, mm -hmm. this gives them a chance to make it into the top four. Pa. Pero para naman sa Ordinata City National High School, if they win this, it secures a slot for them naman sa top four. So si Bulsu, a chance to make it. Si UC NHS, um, if they win, Secures the slot, so very different bearings in a way. Pero yeah. at the end of the day, it means just more pressure. Yeah. Well, one thing is for sure, either team wants to win really bad. But for Urdaneta, though, if they do get this, at least they're safe. Yeah. Uh, they're assured a top four spot. So really quick draft here. Very quick indeed. They're just throwing out the picks here. Very, very decisive right now. Let's go ahead and review everything real quick, though. Wow, very interesting composition coming in from Bulacan State University. Meanwhile, for Ordinata City National High School, I'd say it's a bit more up to standard. A yeah. Kled in the top lane, you have the Kha'Zix in the jungle. We know how very potent the Kha'Zix is. The mid lane, Twisted Fate, Varus, and Tarek for bot lane. So, inter I have much more interest in um looking yeah. at Bosu's composition because for Ordinance City National High School I'd say it's a very straightforward composition that they have here. Meanwhile for Bulacan State University, um this is something that I haven't really seen as much as of recent. These heavy protect compositions with the Shen, um the Karma in the mid lane, Morgana as well to kind of front line. But I mean not it was frequent in the previous season, but for season 8, I don't really see it as much. Just because people tend to favor just straight off damage or a little bit more balance. But straight off protects not really as much, but let's go ahead and see how that'll go down on it. I really like though that Ordaneta got to pick pick up that uh, Tarek, which would help Azor a lot given his playstyle, which is very aggressive. And in the last games, they weren't really able to protect Azur that much, but this Tarek pick is a very tanky, very very protective sort of support, which could help Azor a lot during laning phase. Right, and at the end of the day, I think it ultimately comes down to execution for both teams because mm -hmm. both teams have very different comp positions and very different win conditions that they need to achieve, whether it be through objectives, through skirmishes, to even the full on 5v5s. Mm -hmm. Kaya, eh, natin, guys, though, kung sino ang mananalo dito. Again, napakalaki ng bearing para sa game na to. At let us know rin kung ano yung thoughts niyo based sa uh, composition sila. Kung sino ang sino supportan niyo, whether you're watching from Facebook Live, of course, sa ating YouTube link, which is gaming.youtube.com slash phgarina slash live. So, kung saan man kayo nanonood, let us know what your thoughts are. But, Kaizen, mm -hmm. um, right, let's go ahead and chill for the meantime while waiting for our teams to get on to the rest. So, how has it been for you so far? Um, I, this is your second day mm -hmm. here, if I'm not mistaken. So, so far, so good. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. uh, casting these games, and it's just been a real learning experience for me. I'm getting better at it. Yeah, definitely. And you've been doing a pretty good job. But 
I'm hopefully maybe baka may mga ibang summoners sa inyo na eventually interesado maging caster like Kaizen new to the family hopefully we will be seeing him a lot more in the future and yun know, para sa mga aspiring casters I think for most of everybody because I know there are people that um, have either been interested in becoming a caster or might not know it yet pero I mean you do see comments every now and then sa YouTube or sa Facebook na um, they feel that you know, maybe baka kaya kong maging caster like or that's a preference nila like because um, some people prefer English casting some people prefer Tagalog casting so actually that's one thing I'm really looking forward to because I know a lot of people um, want to see tag- more Tagalog casters and you know that's one thing that I really like to scout out because admittedly we have a lot more English casters than Tagalog casters so it would nice to be somebody that's very proficient in Tagalog to step up to the plate mm-hmm. but nonetheless step- speaking of stepping up to the plate we're heading into this game right now looks like Ordaneta don't oh. know they're in the brush he already got caught out the Dark Binding is gonna land and First Blood going over to Bulsu already now it's a 4v5 over for Bulacan and Ordaneta they're in a lot of trouble here. They're already sustaining a lot of damage. A flash from Ralph getting the Dark Binding off and killing Azur off. Now, Ochi Worm is in a lot of trouble. They're looking up, burning flashes. Ochi Worm is farther up, but Slay is going to stun up Jars there. But will he lose his life? Yes, he will to Chris. JT, a lot of trouble. One more hit will do it. Is Gosu going to get this? Yes, they are in the hands of MP. Finishing off JT right there. Oh my god. Gulay, what just happened right there? I mean, pasegui pa lang ako na papasok na tayo sa game natin. Tapos biglang yeah. boom, bakbak na at zero for four. I gotta hand it to Bulacan State University, yeah. Uh-huh. Kasi considering na may tower dive pa sila and with everything that happened, mm-hmm. I was expecting na kahit isang kill man lang sa kanila, like maybe a one for four. Pero talagang naging clean zero for four in favor of Bulacan State University. So great start from them. Ito yung talaga yung sinasabi kong anything can happen on Summoner's Rift. At yan nga ang nangyari mga kaibigan. 0 and 4, Bulacan State University, good start for them. Tingnan natin kung paano makakabawi yung Urdaneta City National High School sa yeah. kakaibang mga kaganapan na nangyari kanina. I really like the path that Bulacan, Bulacan took. They took the mid lane and then hid in the brush. They were very patient and that was a really great play from them. They waited for the last... A uh, member of Urdaneta to enter the brush when they started uh, engaging, and that was really good patience from them. Yeah, patience it was definitely key in that fight. And kung iko consider mo rin naman kasi composition ng Bulacan State University, I feel like they definitely have a much better one v one in the sense that um, may pang lockdown sila in the form of the Morgana Stark Binding. Shen could have has the taunt as well. Um, Karma, although didn't up for the W, does have that root. So, and that many options that work in their favor, in my opinion. So, one v one, uh, level one fight. So, yeah, that was very interesting. A great yeah. way to start our last game for the day. <laughs> Definitely ca- perked me up. A catastrophic uh, start there for Urdaneta. Let's see how they bounce back, though. Joris is already aggroing the Mountain Drake. He really wants this. It would help out Bulacan a lot to push their lead further. That Mountain Drake is will give them more damage for objectives. The towers and the epic monsters like Baron. Ooh, really good pick up there. That would be a good start. Looks like Joris is taking it quite easily with no damage. Difficulty a level three mount solo mountain Drake mm-hmm. take so that's pretty impressive and uh, I mean with yeah. I thought the um, level four I I thought the zero four four trade was the surprise of this game mm-hmm. then we see a level three solo mountain Drake coming in from Jaws here mm-hmm. but then again it does make sense because he had that blue buff he had that red buff as well yeah. so I guess that's another thing later. That but let's go ahead and check out the chaos that ensued earlier. So Bulacan State University, as Kaizen mentioned, great pathing here, going for that mid lane into the brush. And that was just a huge collapse. Dark Binding was a great start here coming in from Ralph. If you notice, he tanked most of the damage at the start of that fight. And, you know, just really good flash in, next target taken down. So talagang habol kung habol ang ginawa Bulacan State University dito. At really good ano ah, talagang daming summoners na exhaust ng Bulacan State University dito. Um, on an, the negative side, I'm not sure how that'll work for them as far as vulnerability sa lanes. Kasi daming summoners na burn dito. But, I mean, it was pretty worth. A 0-4-4 is definitely a great way to go. Uh, 
um, ever since they uh, burned a lot of summoners, things really have slowed down a bit. And I think this would be uh, Ordaneta's chance to at least like gain a little bit of lead in terms of CS or in terms of trading with their lane opponent. That's actually true, though. I mean, after that... What's the right word I'm looking for? Fiesta. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we'll just go with that. After that fiesta of a level 1 engage, 5v5, medyo kumalma na. Medyo chill muna kasi I think especially for Ordinetta City National High School, they don't really want to force anything just yet. Kumbaga, just let it be and just wait for everyone to get back on a better stance. But overall, I gotta give my kudos to both um, Soul. Uh, uh, well, to just Soul actually. Because kahit nakaroon ng ganong fiesta mm -hmm. uh, within the first minute of the game, at least hindi siya na be behind sa CS. Yeah. So that's definitely a good factor. I can't really say the same for the rest of the lanes, wherein, especially for Azir versus MP here, MP up 21 to 39. That's Basically, 18 CS, three waves mm -hmm. of CS missed out on. And I think that's definitely going to hurt Azure a bit. Mm -hmm. And considering yung nakita nating previous game earlier, where in Azure as well as Ochi were more key players into the victory of Ordinate City National High School earlier, but looks like we have a fight. Ochi Worm is going to walk up. He is going to leap into Chris there. He is going to get gold carded to get the stun up. Are they going to be able to finish him off? This still is under tower, but they are. JT taking out Chris in the top lane. Ooh. Oh, but he does die to the final tower shot. Really unfortunate there for JT. That was very unfortunate indeed. And I think the tricky part dun is mm -hmm. that um, if you notice how JT path. Uh -huh. Like um he was already towards the right side of the turret tapos naglakad pa siya pabalik sa left side mm. so i think if he just consistently walked towards the right side yeah. yung same path ni Ochi were not mistaken that was running towards yung jungle side ng bull so i think that potentially could have saved him kasi yung moment of invulnerability ng I think he would have avoided that last hour shot if he just stuck to walking to one side. Although he, uh, Azur here is going to get rooted, or slay for that matter, and he does go down to three players down here Ooh. for on the bot side of Ordaneta pressuring the tower. It's still seven minutes, but they already took the first tower. Take note, mga summoners. Seven minutes into the game, first turret taken. Ito ang, oh my goodness, really the preseason making, making good work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty crazy. Chaotic. Cha yeah, that's chaotic. exactly the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so chaotic, ng game na to. And at least for Urdaneta City National High School, pero as far as Bulacan State University, this is just not the chaos, but this is mm -hmm. just harmony happening for them right mm -hmm. there. One and six. And gaya nga lang sinabi ko, a lot is riding on the line for both teams. And for Bulacan State University. They're all the more thirsty to want to secure their slot into the top four. Oh, Tree Worm, though, he is going to get pincered by both Jors and Ralph. Jors there is going to flash his badge. Oh, Tree Worm going to do the same, Whoa. but he is still going to go down. I wouldn't flash my badge if I knew I was going to go down. Nope, not no, that. Oh. Not that way. <laughs> <laughs> but still, great proactivity coming here from Jors. And I think for this particular game, I think this should serve as a note for mm -hmm. all teams in the LCL in all future games. Until such time as we all get nerfed or the, the runes that really makes him such a powerhouse, this patch is switched up. I think Ezreal should potentially be one of those champions that he auto ban unless you know for a fact that the jungler doesn't really favor these type of champions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is just crazy for Bulacan State University. Again, another turret going to be taken. And that was just a minute and 40 minutes after taking their first turret yeah. earlier towards bot. Just right after. One thing Urdaneta have to do though is they shouldn't let that early 4-0 get to them. Because this is still early game, they could still push a lead if they keep their heads in the game. They need to concentrate on not letting uh, Bulacan slide their advantage further and further. From getting themselves back into this game, mm -hmm. they have to... <laughs> oh goodness, I'm gonna go for a high school musical reference here, but basically it's that moment wherein they have to be all in this together. <laughs> oh, I went there, I yep, went there, yes, I went did. there. <laughs> but I'm yeah. I'm sure they get it anyway. But that's basically... 
what they have to do, but looks like. Yell there, he did cleanse the gold card, so the stun wasn't that long. He is gonna get away with his life. Ooh, but look at what's happening towards the stop side, though. Bulacan State University continuing the aggression. This is just way too fast. Everything is happening so fast. Yeah, they. I see they're taking uh, advantage of their... Uh, well, advantage here. They do know that they can take Urdaneta any day, and they're using that damage to still clear out this map for them. And Urdaneta's just being like, like what's the word? Starved of their resources, basically. Yeah, babe. Bulacan State University now 1 and 7. Again, like I mentioned, this the game with the space is just so fast. Mm -hmm. But then again, this is the nature of the preseason in the works right here, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If I had to compare this to like a real-life scenario, ito yung tipong yung magjowa na <laughs> nagkakamit lang nila tapos oh sila dear. na agad. That's oh basically no. what describes how fast <laughs> it gets went there, but there, JT is in the middle of all five members of Bulacan. There is he going to be able to take anyone down before he goes up. Vial is very low health. Azur trying to finish him off. They are invulnerable with the help of Slay there. Stunning up Chris. Is he going to lose his life to all members of uh, Urdaneta there? Soul with a gold card in. Is he going to be able to take anyone out? Dark Binding going to go wide. Jor's very low health. Scuttlecrap in the middle of everything. They are going to pose up to take the Mountain Drake. This would be really good for Urdaneta if they ever want to stop the lead that Bulacan has. Yes, this is a Mountain Drake that's definitely much welcome for the members of Urdaneta City National High School. This will definitely help them in the sense that it grants them much more siege potential onto these objectives. Pero, let's go talk about what happened there. That was so awkward mm -hmm. for Bulacan State University. Oh, oh, malaking lead nila. Pero, mm -hmm. they don't want to push the boundaries too much. Kasi, kung titignan yung composition nila, um, one of the key factors, in my opinion, that really needs to work out for them is, especially in later parts of the game, they need to kind of stick together. Because uh, this is, they really need to rely on the protection of everybody from the Karma Shields to the Shen Ultimate from Stand United, even mm -hmm. the Black Shields to an instead coming in from Morgana to just avoid the CC that could from, from Ordinetta City. But let's go ahead and check out what happened here. So, the major awkward kasi dito is that. Um, the members of Bulacan State University, they weren't quite on the same page here. If anything, if you notice, they were together at the start. Pero dito na nagkaroon ng instance na medyo nag-start na silang magkahiwalay. Bial ultimately went down first here to Azure. And mm -hmm. the crazy thing here is that Chris was just kind of lingering when I feel that he should have just started to walk back with the rest of Bulacan State University. Kumbaga, um, just that one casualty was acceptable. Two, yeah. that was a little bit of everybody not on the same chapter. Yeah, I really think uh, you got to give credit here to JT because he just charged into five members of Bulacan and they weren't able to do anything. And I think that took Bulacan off guard and they didn't know what to do. Uh, some players started retreating. Some of the players started fighting back to JT and this gave time for the rest of the allies of Urdaneta to close in and help JT out. <laughs> that was almost a steal coming in from that true shot barrage. Mm -hmm. Barrel, yeah, I agree. ultimately I think this has been one of the consistent issues that play. Oh! Chain of corruption though, he is gonna cleanse it, so nothing too serious, although the root is gonna go to Ralph. Nothing is gonna happen just yet. They are scot-free of any CC. But, yeah, going back to the point that mm -hmm. I was trying to make earlier, I think ito yung sakit ng Bulacan State University sa napansin ko sa mga past games nila. For me, they're definitely a talented team, pero it's a classic scenario wherein Mm -hmm. Individually talented, pero may mga times talaga na hindi sila on the same page. And it ultimately comes down to what most LCL teams actually struggle with, which is team synergy. And if you can't really be on the same page, even when it comes to the boss, then oh, oh JT is gonna get out, is out playing Gosu there. You're fighting against a Kled who has, well, a pseudo second health bar there. There's no way you could have 1v1 him. Yeah, I think that was a little bit of an overstep there coming in from Chris. Like I mentioned, they should just stick to the win conditions. Because I mentioned, even I said before, before we start the game, there are different win conditions for the two teams. For Bulacan State University, want to try to stick together and just take advantage of the fact that they have so much protect for their key carries here. And I think Chris, oh, he could go for a split push, but he doesn't quite want to go head to head with a Kled until such time he could sustain all of the damage. Soul there, he's being separated from his team and he does go down. JT 
charging into the middle of everyone. They're taking down uh, Gosu and Gosu here. Chris gonna shut down a double kill already on the side of JT. Two members, three members are already down on Urdaneta's side. Now Azur is in a lot of trouble because Chris is about to put him down, getting taunted up, putting his blade back, and does kill him. JT now back to the 1v1. Chris versus JT here. That is a cled. A lot of damage on his side. He's trying to retreat. Will be able to get away. He is dealing a Ooh. lot of damage. A shutdown on the side of Chris. Finally winning that 1v1. Just in the nick of time before Scarl almost made it back but good thing Chris was able to take him down in time and that will kind of be the unofficial ace for Blackhawk State University. Let's go ahead and check out the chaos that ensued though. So basically what happened here is that take note Chen was still down when this fight happened. So I think it was ultimately everybody from Blackhawk State University. Um, they weren't really again on the same page as far as which target to go for here. Ralph was kind of trying to zone out uh, the cled here but take note um, CJT is medyo damage oriented in build, which he should be doing on a Kled. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you're going to look at the members of Bulacan State University, so brang squishy ng karami ng members nila with the exception of that Chen. So with that squishiness, it just allowed JT to take down everybody, almost everybody. Mm -hmm. But within lang yung saving grace, dito, of course, was the Chen not succumbing to an ace. Yeah, really good play there. It's good that. Chris got to shut down JT finally, giving a little more gold in his pocket. A, being able to uh, finish up the Titanic Hydra there. Oh man, still though, look on State University. They, again, they have to be careful. Mm -hmm. They just have to be careful with how things play out. Oh, they have a good lead, they had a great start. They don't want to push the boundaries. Yes, but instead of pushing the boundaries here, there's Dealing a lot of damage on Ochi Worm there, but Jor's in a lot of trouble. He's being separated from his team. A Black Shield is gonna go and save him there. They really want to take this inhibitor. They should be sure not to overstay their welcome because, uh, no mistake, Urdaneta still have a lot of damage in their hit. They do take down the inhibitor though, and this will signal Bulacan's retreat. Notice though, um, I'd like to touch on the rest of Urdaneta City National High School though. Looking at itemization. Um, Ochi Worm as well as so they're kind of lagging behind in comparison to their main counterparts. If you notice, for Soul, he hasn't even completed a single item with the exception of this Sorcerer's Boot. Meanwhile, for Vial, already has two items under his belt, Athens, Athens and Holy Grail as well as the Moral Nomicon. So that's pretty key. Doesn't have complete boots yet, but still pretty substantial. Oh, we might see a fight though. He's gonna charge up, but before that, Soul is gonna take down Go uh, Joris there, 1v1. Although Bulacan is in a lot of trouble, they're getting in engaged on by JT. Uh, Tarek's ult there is gonna keep him invulnerable, keep him safe. Now they're gonna look to counter-engage on them, but Urdaneta are gonna be able to get away. JT is in very low health, he's not gonna be able to help him, and just because of that, uh, Chris taking down Slay there. Now Arzura and Ochi Worm have no means of protection. Ochi Worm gonna leap away. He is gonna get Ace in the hole, but it's not gonna be able to finish him off. But Azur does go down in the hands of Karma there. Messy, messy, messy though. This does force JT has to defend. This is a super mini wave pushing up towards the mid lane, getting a little bit of damage onto the Nexus turrets, but still, let's go in and see how things transition. So 9 and 15 on the scoreboard. Take note, more than a 10k gold deficit in favor of Wuhan State University. Yeah, hey, uh, at the end of the day, it, I think it just all comes down to Wuhan State University not I think they could afford the luxury of concurring a few deaths here and there. But a wag major ace na mm -hmm. that will grant Ordinata City National High School opportunity na makapaghanap ng way into a turnaround. Take note, we are heading into the 20-minute mark in just a bit. Baron will be up. That might be a great opportunity for Bulacan State University to take advantage of if they could get a decent pick off the members of Ordinata City National High School. One thing Ordinata does have is they have the destiny. This is a really great tool uh, in terms of oh. if you want to catch up because this shows vision of all the enemy allies. If you want to pick someone off, you can 1v1 them. Just shown earlier, Soul was able to uh, destroy Jor Jor's 1v1. So that's a really good tool in terms of catching back up. That's a good point that you brought up. And take note, that's Soul earlier without a single item completed versus Jor's who's pretty much ahead. 
of the pack here for Burakan State University. So I think that's a good point to raise in terms of what potential um, oh, we have a fight now. JT, though, he's charging up his allies. They want to go in. He is in the middle of everyone. Slay and Ojiwum are here to help him out. They were able to take the Caitlyn down uh, in Soul's hands. Now they're in big trouble. Soul is going to be able to gold card him up. Now Jorz is in a lot of trouble. A teleport coming in from Chris. Is he going to be able to taunt anyone here? Although Tarek's ult is going up. They're all invulnerable. They're trying to take Chris down, but he's just blocking everything. It's a really, really tanky Shen there. And they are going to be able to take down Kled, Soul, and Tarek. That a was double kill coming up for Chris. Very awkward, and this could potentially be the game. Very heavy death timer. Super minion wave pushing out, coming from the mid lane. Bulacan State University fighting for their lives to stay if they want to have a chance at making it to the top four. Looks like this may potentially be the game where Auti Worm goes down. That's going to be the ace. Tarek is up. I don't think that will be enough to defend, though. Congratulations. We have a winner for our final game of the day, Bulacan State University, one step closer to making it to the top four for the North Luzon Conference. Really great game there coming up from Bulacan and it all started from the get-go. A 4-0 for the side of Bulacan just, and from that on forward, it was just a snowball then, as we said yesterday, an avalanche. Ooh. And I, yeah, exactly, I'm glad that you brought mm -hmm. that small snowball into that huge avalanche and yeah. I think it just ultimately started from that first minute there, yeah. that 4 Bulacan State University. This is the level of proactivity I've been looking for from the Bulsu, like from the earlier days. Because you know that, again, I've been saying, I truly believe that they do have the potential. There's a lot of great talent there. It's just really about getting the synergy together, knowing what their win conditions are, knowing what they should and shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. Sure, there were awkward moments wherein there were those shouldn't be doing moments, but it didn't really deter them from that ultimate goal, which was winning and making sure that they still have a chance at making top four. Mm -hmm. Ordinata weren't completely out ever since that 4-0, yeah. but it's just that with that really big lead that Bulacan got, they just got a little bit of more confidence and they were able to make the right decisions during the game. and eventually giving them the victory. Yeah, and that confidence really really changed the way that they played out, I gotta say. That was a very different Bulacan State University from what I saw in the previous games, but in the sense that it's a much more better team. So I'm hope, yep. maybe hoping if they want to make top four, they continue this type of play that they have. But ladies and gents, that has been our final game for the day. Unfortunately, we'll have to conclude for today. But don't worry, as tomorrow, it will be the low varsity league that we'll be witnessing as our seven varsity teams once again take the stage but for the meantime we'll have to sign off for now once again i'm arctic with me is kaiz and this has been the green low collegiate league 2017 summer term powered by lenovo challenge what you know we'll see you guys again tomorrow for the lvl but for the meantime have a good night everybody don't oh. know they're in the brush. He already got caught out. The Dark Binding is going to land. And First Blood going over to Bolsu already. Now it's a 4v5 over for Bulacan and Urdaneta. They're in a lot of trouble here. They're already sustaining a lot of damage. A flash from Ralph getting the Dark Binding off and killing Azur off. Now Ochiworm is in a lot of trouble. They're looking up. Burning flashes. Ochiworm is farther up. But Slay is going to stun up Jors there. But will he lose his life? Yes, he will to Chris. JT, a lot of trouble. One more hit will do it. Is Gosu gonna get this? Yes, they are in the hands of Enzo. That's amazing. No. <laughs> that describes how fast he's going. There, but there, JT is in the middle of all five members of Bulacan. There, is he gonna be able to take anyone down before he goes up? Vial is very low health. Azur trying to finish him off. They are invulnerable with the help of Slay there. Stunning up Chris. Is he gonna lose his life to all members of uh, Urdanet? Until such time, he could sustain all of the damage. So there, he's being separated from his team and he does go down. JT charging into the middle of everyone. They're taking down uh, Gosu. And Gosu here, Chris, gonna shut down a double kill already on the side of JT. Two members, three members are already down on Urdaneta's side. Now Azur is in a lot of trouble because Chris is about to put him down, getting taunted up, putting his blade back, and does kill him. JT now back to the 1v1. Chris versus JT here. That is a good A lot of people to help him. And just because of that, uh, Chris taking down Slay there. Now Azur and Ochiworm have no means of protection. Ochiworm gonna leap away. He is gonna get Ace in the hole, but it's not gonna be able to finish They want to go in. He is in the middle of everyone. Slay and Ochiworm are here to help him out. They were able to take the Caitlyn down uh, in Soul's hands. Now they're in big trouble. Soul is gonna be able to gold card him up. 
Now Jorz is in a lot of trouble. A teleport coming in from Chris. Is he going to be able to taunt anyone here? Although Tyrex all is going up, they're all invulnerable. They're trying to take Chris down, but he's just blocking everything. It's a really, really tanky Shen there. And they are going to be able to take down Kled, Soul, and Tyrex. That was it, like Bulacan yeah. State University fighting for their lives to stay if they want to have a chance at making it to the top four. Looks like this may potentially be the game where Oji Worm goes down. That's going to be the ace. Tarek is up. I don't think that will be enough to defend, though. Congratulations. We have a winner for our final game of the day. Bulacan State University one step closer to making it to the top four for the North Luzon Conference. Really great game there coming up from Bulacan. Not enough Garena shells to buy the latest League of Legends skin on sale now? Get shells anytime, anywhere with your Globe or Touch mobile number. Go to gamer.com.ph and sign up with your mobile number and enter the verification code you will receive via SMS. Log in and choose the game and pin you want. Check out to purchase the PIN with your load or through your postpaid account and receive the PIN on your phone instantly. Never miss a sale on your favorite League of Legends skins and champions with Gamer.